There is just something special and majestic about birds. Perhaps because they can fly so majestically or maybe because they were present from the time of the dinosaurs. Either way, the birds have always inspired artists. Runa Agarwal caught up with Abhisheka Krishna Gopal who shared her thoughts about being a bird artist and an educationist. We are at the sixth bird festival of Goa inside this constructed auditorium where a lot of our sessions have been happening. And now we're going to be speaking to Abhisheka Krishna Gopal. You talked about bird art. What is bird art? So any form of uh, art where birds are depicted, it could be a folk art forms, classical art forms or uh, scientific illustrations okay. and art forms could be anything. Again, it's not just uh, uh, painting or sketching, but dance, music, theater, craft, all these kind of incorporates. So performance art. arts as well. Yes, yes. Why is bird art important? Um, so, as we all know that art is, art is a way, uh, art is always connected people uh, uh, to their senses, like the art uses different senses to connect yes. and art makes you kind of uh, not just look at things, observe, but also feel and uh, value, yes. value whatever you see. There or, is an emotional connect. Yeah, there is an emotional connect. And that's why if you want to get people to uh, value birds and protect birds, it becomes important that they feel and emotional connect to birds and that's where art plays a big role in connecting people to birds. So how does um, art work in conservation? Uh, artists are using different ways of engaging uh, people um, in conservation so what happens is um, we, uh, be, uh, the conservation sector has a lot of knowledge about how, how to conserve but then how do you take that knowledge to public and that's where art comes in because art has a way of engaging with the public in yes. very imaginative ways yes. and so artists have been using illustrations, performances and uh, hands-on activities to uh, get people to understand about birds and their importance. In the Indian context, possibly in, in other cultures as well, how easy or difficult is it to engage uh, populations with understanding that maybe some of those cultural or traditional practices need to change um, and how they can change it and the acceptance of that. Hmm. So engaging with public I must say is not easy at all especially not just engagement to change attitude and behavior of people towards conservation is it's, it's a big big uh, challenge and um, I would still say that art can play a very important role because you know we art, art has been such a big part of our culture too yeah. now if you if you take a rural landscape there always been um, a lot of uh, uh, folk stories and songs yeah. and uh, yes. community coming together performing various art forms yeah. now if you could use platforms like that to uh, introduce conservation I think somewhere it is much more easier than having to just go and you know talking to people okay. but uh, I would still say that it is a difficult uh, okay um, you know during your presentation on bird art and conservation education um, you talked about two things you uh, you talked about an exhibition that happened related to bird song yeah. Uh, and you talked about a handbook for yeah. educators. Could you talk a little bit more about that for our viewers? Yeah. So the handbook for bird educators was um, uh, published uh, by Nature Conservation Foundation. It was uh, developed by the early bird team of Nature Conservation Foundation. Now this is a handbook that has compiled um, information from several nature edu educators across the country and it's freely downloadable from the early bird website as well as available for, for a very nominal fee and it contains um, in, information about how to conduct bird talks, okay. bird walks okay. in a creative engaging way as well as creative activities, projects for children, games uh, related to birds so it's, it's a compilation of all this. Yeah. Okay. And what about that bird song? Okay, so bird song exhibition was um, uh, curated by Indian uh, Music Experience Museum in Bangalore and uh, Early Bird was the content partner for them. 
and again it brought in a lot of um, the exhibit was about bird mythology mythological stories bird instruments and uh, why birds sing the, the scientific fact about bird songs and it was a very interactive exhibition where people could uh, listen to stories look at videos and also uh, create their own bird boxing like create music using bird songs and um, yeah it was in bangalore but uh, ime is willing to take the exhibition to rest of the country if okay. anybody is willing to uh, collaborate with them oh the that's exhibit. good yeah. well maybe something for serendipity when yeah. we get to yeah. december this year yeah. now how does somebody make a career out of what you do fortunately uh, today there's a lot of opportunity for people to use bird art to make a career because uh, there's a lot of um, um, uh, options for bird illustrations scientific okay. illustrations you could uh, you could train yourself as a bird illustrator as a scientific illustrator okay. um, or you could also use bird um, art in the uh, in in the, if if you are a performer or uh, um, even visual artist you can always bring in the uh, use the uh, theme of birds you opened your presentation with uh, reference to dr salim ali and to carl silva yeah. both of whom are very very much rooted um, through their lives and later in goa, goa yeah. and so from goa we say thank you for coming here to the <laughs> sixth bird festival and i'm sure our viewers are going to take back a lot from this interview Thanks thank you so, so much, much. For to us. something i forgot to say in the uh, presentation was also about how i'm so amazed with how goans have brought together art and conservation especially the uh, the save molem campaign yeah. where there was a lot of art activism yes. and i've really been a big fan of the kind of work goans do here <laughs> thank you so much Thanks. coming from you that's high praise yes. thanks yes, so thank much you.